Eu tô afastado. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God Almighty has reached out to mankind, His creation, the Creator. Not evolution, not evolved, but the creation that was made by a Creator as an invitation to heaven. And the thing is, if you think you're going to heaven, the Bible says the only access that you have to heaven is through the Son. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God has set forth a standard. And when that standard has not been met, there is swift and terrible consequences. You see, the fact is that the Bible teaches that there is an afterlife. There is a place called heaven. And there is a place called hell. And there's nowhere else. Whatever the teaching is. And it's heaven by Jesus Christ. Or it's by hell by anything but Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. So, entrance into heaven is not through religion, because Jesus is not religion. And you may ask yourself, say, Preacher, well, what makes my different? What makes my religion different from yours? First of all, I don't have a religion. I have a risen Savior. I have God manifested in the flesh that suffered and died all according to the Scripture. And He was buried. And He arose again the third day according to the Scripture. Now you got a religion where the rabbi, the priest, the pastor, whatever you call your denomination head, they will die, they will go in the graveyard, and they will not come out of that graveyard. They will stay dead. The leader of my salvation, my faith, is God himself who did die, and he didn't stay dead. Now, there's a possibility that your church could close its doors forever. And it has happened. So what? If your church closes, are you now all of a sudden being rejected by God because your church doors have been closed? Think about it. It's never based upon a church. It's based upon Jesus Christ. Now the church, the biblical church, is a group of people who are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ alone, without works. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. Now people are also relying on a baptism. I'm saved because I was dipped sprinkled, sprayed, tossed water in my face. 
There was a famous guy up in New York. He would baptize them with the fire hydrant. Baptism only gets you wet. It don't get you saved. Water baptism does not get you into heaven. It's that plain and simple. And there are denominations of water baptism. I did not know if you knew this. But there's a salt water class of people who have been baptized. There's a fresh water class of people who have been baptized. There have been people who have been baptized in the ocean. There have been people who have baptized in a swimming pool. There are people who have been baptized in a lake, in a river. There's all kinds of denominations of water baptism. And water baptism will only get you wet. It will not get you saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Nothing more simpler. Salvation is only through Jesus Christ. And by Jesus Christ. And of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he did not give a church. He did not give water. He did not give a certificate. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Now those who will not believe on Jesus, those who will reject Jesus, those who will count Jesus as fraud, as unable to save, inconsequential, Jesus himself will declare to you at the final judgment, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. God himself will tell you, I don't know you. And if there's anybody to be known of, it's God. When it comes to the final judgment. Certificate into a denomination. There are many denominations. Which domination is the one that God will accept? I'll tell you what God will accept. Jesus said, I am the way. It wasn't a Baptist. It wasn't Catholic. It was the Son of God is the way. Absolutely nothing you can do good can get you to heaven. For the Bible says there are there is none that doeth good. So how can you do something when the Bible says you don't? The Bible says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. You're going to die because you are a sinner. The Bible says the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. No blood atonement. No access into heaven. You go to hell. And you will burn in hell for your rejection of Jesus. And I, I beg you, we hear every week, Lord willing, we beg you that you will trust upon Jesus. The purpose we are here, the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And we've reached out to you with the plea to tell you that only Jesus saved. Nothing else will save your soul. Nothing. 
And if you think you're going to shun God, and God's going to just stick you off into some eternity corner, an eternity time out, you've been deceived. Because there's no corner, there's no time out, there's no blue pills, there's no red pills. There is the place called judgment for the devil and his angels is called hell. The lake of fire that burneth forever, the darkness, the, the gnashing of the teeth. And Jesus preached more about hell than he did about heaven. And the fact is, one of the reasons why Jesus came is that we might not go to hell. And when you do wake up in hell after you've died, you've gone there by your own merit. Don't blame God. God has sent to you a loudmouth preacher that preaches the truth that you hate, that you despise, that you don't want to hear, that you do not want to give hand to. You do not want to listen to the preacher in the Bible about God and Jesus. And you will die and wake up in a place called hell because you chose to reject God. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. There is a Bible verse for atheism. And God calls you a fool. I call you a fool by the scriptures. And I personally don't care if you don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about your music. But Jesus Christ is blessed. Jesus Christ is the only hope. And thanks to the Constitution of America, we can both do our thing. Your thing will lead off to hell. My, my way will lead off to heaven. That Jesus only saves. You don't come to Jesus as a Baptist. You don't come to Jesus as a Catholic. You don't come to Jesus wet. You come to Jesus by repentance and by faith and that he is God. Which rules out the Jehovah Witnesses. Jehovah Witnesses do not believe that Jesus is God. Well, you go to hell. Because one of the requirements for salvation is the dignity of Jesus. He is God. And we stand here to preach the gospel. And the gospel is that God suffered and died. Jesus suffered and died. God is Jesus and Jesus is God. There is no other way. There is nothing else that can save your soul. But Jesus, death is coming. You will die. And one day you will be a Bible believer in heaven or in hell. You will believe God. You will believe the salvation message. You will believe in, God, in Jesus in hell. But it will do you no good. The Bible says about the rich man, he says, listen, go to my family and tell them about this place of torment. You in hell will want this preacher to continue preaching when you don't want to hear him. You do not want your family, you do not want your friends, you don't want anybody to join you in a place of torment. But God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Jesus, who knew no sin, the sinless one, he's able to save. Salvation and hope is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. He was made sin for us who knew no sin that the righteousness of God might be in him. For there is none righteous, no, not one. You're not as good as you think you are. You think you're something? The Bible says you're nothing. That's why men don't want to read the Bible. Because they don't want to face their ugly selves in a mirror. And the ugly self is not what you look like, it's what you are. In the eyes of God, you are a wicked, vile sinner that has rejected his son. And you'll stand condemned. 
And without the faith and belief in Jesus, any time before you die, Jesus will tell you, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. You won't laugh then. You won't scorn then. You won't riddle then. You won't joke then. When God the Father, Jesus Christ, will declare to you, go to hell. Now man says go to hell, but it, it don't mean nothing. It has no weight to it. You wait till God declares to you, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And John says, He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon him, the wrath of God is hell. All is not well. There is a hell. And your church will take you there. There is no hope in the Pope. There is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary is a female. She's not your mediator. The devil's Mary will get you off into hell as quick as fire. And once you walk or wake or get into the gates of hell, you don't come out. You cannot trust Christ after you've been damned. You cannot come back and say, God, let me do over. And as a Christian, when you don't do what the Bible tells you to do and you go to heaven and you don't witness and you don't apply the Bible in your life, you lose out. You don't lose your soul, but you lose rewards. There are commandments for Christians to do. And God is able and willing to reward and offer to us crowns and inheritance if we do what the Bible foretells us to do. And you won't. And you'll be put to shame. Many people will come up and say, well, that's not with the Bible. Street preaching is exactly what the Bible. They've done it. Elijah, Elijah has preached. Noah preached on the on the bow of that ark. Jesus got in a boat and rolled himself away from the shore and preached to the people. Peter, James, John, all them, uh, Paul preached on streets. Proverbs chapter one says, "Go in the chief concourse." and preach wisdom. And the greatest concourse there is is a place called a farmer's market. Because life began in the garden. It began with Adam and Eve. God told Adam, do not eat of the fruit. He ate of the fruit. Sin and curse has come in. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you go to hell. I'm not telling you to go to hell. I'm telling you, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. We're here to tell you how not to go to hell. How not to go to hell. You do not have to go you can put your faith and your trust and your repentance to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's that simple. God, through Jesus Christ, can give you a blessed life through Jesus. He can give you love, joy, hope, patience, long-suffering, he can take off that ugly Catholic attitude you got. I can tell when you're a Catholic. Man, get some peace in your life. Come to Jesus. Believe on Jesus. Don't eat Jesus. Jesus is not to be taken orally. He's to be taken by faith. And believe. And you repenting of the sinner that you are before a holy and righteous God. 
Now God says, be ye holy, for I am holy. And you can't be holy. You're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is no, there is none that are righteous. No, not one. None. Well, how can I be holy if I'm a sinner and unrighteous? He has made him to be sin for us, Jesus, who knew no sin, Jesus, that the righteousness of God through him, through Jesus, And only by Jesus Christ are you able to be going to heaven. And without Jesus, you're going to hell. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm a good Baptist, and it's very offensive what you say to me. I don't need to hear your Baptist. Yeah. I found this good people. And you call yourself a Baptist? You know nothing of Baptist history. The, the revelation of God is that you, you can't say, hey, I'm a Baptist, and God say, okay, come into heaven. You've got to believe upon the true Jesus Christ. Names and titles can't get you to heaven. Especially when you're involved in the devil's work. No Baptist will stand going against the preaching of the cross and the preaching of the gospel is able to be saved to enter into the place of heaven. You are against God's preachers. You are against the preaching of Jesus Christ. Don't say, oh, Baptist, I'll go to heaven. No. You can sing about it. You can sing about the angels are going to be with me. But that doesn't make it so. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And you will become a new creature. Thank you, Have a good day. Old things are passed away through Christ. A greater love is through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, but that comes after your faith and belief. I'm not a Baptist. I attend the Baptist church. I am a born-again Bible believer. I am a child of God through Jesus Christ. I have been baptized. That does nothing for my soul. I preach the gospel. That does not save me. That's a warning to you. A good Christian, the Bible said, go eat all the world and preach the gospel. That's what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say go let your light shine before the world. You're not going to tell anybody from your couch in your living room watching your TV evangelism. That ain't going to save nobody. Preach the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. It's a bloody sacrifice of God the Father through Jesus the Son. The Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. We are the back. Lamb of God. Is gone. And that I had lamb. To clown pants. Hopefully, we'll leave soon too. That lamb. That guy's so stupid. He doesn't even know what a clown dresses up like. And that lamb was shed. His neck see. was slain to spill with good out the blood. Work and business, and interfere with their ability to make a living on a Saturday. Does anything for anybody except spread ugliness and hate, and or drive people away from the Lord. And know it. Or you can believe and on there the you Lord go. And on that, I'm going to play you a song I wrote. This one's called, uh, it's an instrumental. It will have the same five words. Kind of a time. test to see if we're still. For the glory of after. God. And the glory of his we need the rain, too. That God has provided the fruits and vegetables. I just wish it'd come after the market. And God has provided us money to buy the fruits and vegetables and the appetite beware the, the proselytizers the good fruit. why not come the Bible says and taste of the Lord 
come taste of Jesus. They shall be orally. the loudest amongst us. I don't mean orally taste of them, but I mean by faith. I have tasted of Jesus. I have tasted of the Word of God, and I choose nothing. And the Bible speaks about. Job said, "I have abstained the Word of God more than my necessary." And Jesus said, "I am the water of life." Jesus said, "I am the bread of life." Come on to me, all ye that are la heavy laden. And I will give you rest. What can give you more rest than God? What can give you more rest than the Holy Spirit entering you upon salvation? And what glory does God get when you magnify yourself? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Don't be an imposter. I'll tell you what an imposter is. I am a Christian, and I enjoy it too. That's an imposter. For the true Christian has been washed in the blood. He has been sanctified by the Holy Spirit. He has been brought into the family of God through the blood atonement. And that there's nothing else that can save your soul but Jesus. I love what I do. I love preaching and it's all free. You don't have to pay nothing. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Where were all the business reasons why it's not? And when we came here, we brought the business. Water is so refreshing. And Jesus said, I am the water of life. Now this says purified. Jesus is pure. There's no pure salvation than that of Jesus. And to be saved, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't hope so to get to heaven. That don't work. You can't think yourself into heaven. That don't work. You cannot believe yourself into heaven. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. his son why would there be a salvation of anything but the son when God sent forth his son and nothing else upon Calvary's cross there was nothing but the son of God that suffered and died according to the scripture that was it only upon the cross of Calvary was Jesus suffered and died. Nothing else. And Acts 20:28 20, tells us that that blood of Jesus is the blood of God. You need 
the blood of God, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Works can't do it. Let me tell you, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourself. It is a gift of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus saves, and only Jesus saves. There is nothing else that can save your soul. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is hot and sweaty. sweat in hell because you'll take a little drop of that sweat and cool your tongue ah, a little salty that rich man in hell said oh if I could just have a little drop of water there are no tears in hell you just take that little tear and put it on your tongue there is no mercy and grace in hell. The Bible says it's torment. I mean, the greatest torment you can get from a guy who can't play a guitar or sing. But there's a greater torment in hell. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Mercy and grace comes by Jesus, and only by Jesus. It's hotter in hell, and there's no AC. There's no water. All right, so what's up, Daytona? There's no Bible preaching. You'll love it there. What's up? You think you will. I kind of wrote that one out here. That's right, right out here. Uh, made the rhythm, and uh, the other part I figured out, so I guess that's a market. Maybe I should say, so what's up, Daytona? My name is Jody Mack. I'll yes, have a good day now. for you for a little while longer here. Uh, I want to thank all our great vendors for coming out here. It's a beautiful day for it now that the rain has stopped. we got produce all around, on the east, on the west, and to the north. That's right. Produce everywhere. Beautiful produce. Some of the best looking tomatoes I've seen in all my life. Right, right here at our farmer's market. That's right. It's like a big tomato sitting in the that music scene. So besides the big tomato sitting in the Good morning, sir. How you doing? Yes, we got fork produce yeah. over on the east side over here. A fabulous selection of fruits and vegetables. And we've got Yanni's produce over on the west side over here. Another fabulous selection of beautiful fruits, vegetables, and other such produce. Uh, we have other vendors out here. If anybody, Tommy Growlin, need a little nosh, try it Ellie's Home Kitchen, right over here by the music tent. Cream of mushroom soup today. Meat pie, sausage rolls, bratwurst, bratwurst, veggie quiche, cauliflower crust pizza. Ellie's cooking in a nice little lounge area. You can get some cold water, hang out, chat up with friends, enjoy your time out here at the market. Take a load off. Get some Something tasty from Ellie's and have a seat over here and finish it up. We got Larry the pea guy out here today with the shucking machine. I love that machine. He knows that I talk to him every time he comes out here. It says something about it. 
It's, uh, maybe, I, maybe my grandma had me peel just shut through too many purple hull field peas when I was growing up. But. There you go. Right. <laughs> you want the powder? Purple hole field piece. They got five pounds back. All right, we've got, we've got Natural Springs Dairy out here. That's right. Lots of fresh dairy. Ooh, it's really good. Dairy hot. products. Because the right. water is back right now. Cheese, butter, oh. the same. A whole variety. Oh, hi. Talk to Jeff over there.